Can you guys hear me? Can you guys raise your hands if you guys can hear me? Let's see. Awesome. Wonderful. Hello, everyone. I am Miss Jody. I am from the Santa Clara City Library. And today is story time day. And so just to go over some ground rules before we start, for your safety, we have turned off the video and audio is the standard for all our virtual programming here at the library. Um, if you guys do have any questions, you guys can ask in the Q&A box and one of our other librarians will answer to the best of their abilities. And then um, if you guys want to follow along with the songs, um, our librarian has posted the uh, song sheet in the chat box. So you guys can click on the link and you guys can follow along with me. And then just to let you guys know, our next story time will be on November 24th at 10.30 a.m. So that's next Tuesday. All right, are you guys ready for story time? Can you guys raise your hand? You guys are ready for story time? Oh my God, wonderful, awesome. All right, put your hands down and let us sing our hello song together. So my hello song is My Hand Says Hello. It goes to the tune of The Farmer and the Dell. So I want you guys to hold your hand up like this and then close it like this. That's how we're gonna say hello, okay? So we're gonna have our hand up, we're gonna close it and then open it, all right? Wonderful. All right, let's try to sing it together, okay? One, two, three. My hand says hello, my hand says hello. Every time I see my friends, my hand says hello. Good job, guys. Do you guys think we can say hello another way? Can we say hello with our elbows? I know it's really silly, but why don't we try saying hello with our elbows, okay? Let's try it. One, two, three. My elbow says hello, my elbow says hello. Every time I see my friends, my elbow says hello. Good job, guys. Do you think we can say hello one more way? Can we say hello with our head? I know, very silly to say hello with our head, but let's try it, okay? So I want you to have, have your head look up and look down. And that's how we're gonna say hello with our head, okay? All right, let's try it. One, two, three. My head says hello, my head says hello. Every time I see my friends, my head says hello. Good job, guys. All right, so today it is, uh, the theme is Native American Heritage Month. So it's when we celebrate the rich and diverse cultures, traditions, and histories of Native people. So today I'll be reading from different Native Americans. We're going to sing a few songs from them. And um, we also have one book that's from a First Nations person. So we're going to learn a little bit from all the different tribes. All right. All right. So let's do our first uh, song. Um, it's called the Diné Corn Planting Song. So Diné is their preferred name for the tribe, but they're also known as the Navajo tribe. You may learn that in school. And so this is their corn planting song. It's a very long song and it's very difficult to sing. So the one I'm showing you is like just like three parts from the song. And then we're actually going to learn American Sign Language with it. So it's going to be a little different from the uh, actual song. All right. So this song is song about growing corn and picking them. And so we're going to talk about drops of rain. So for a drop in American Sign Language, we're going to have our hands in two fists and we're going to let go like this. So that's how we say drop. So every time we sing drop in this first part of the song, I want you guys to take your hands like two fists and then just let go. All right. Excellent. And then just to make it a little more complicated, we're also going to do rain. So every time we say rain, I want you guys to do this. So you're going to take your hands flat and you're just going to fling it down like that. So take your hands up, have them flat like this, and go down. And that's how we say rain in American Sign Language. All right, so let's try the first part of the song together. We're going to say the corn grows up and the waters of the dark clouds drop, drop. Then we're going to do the rain descends, the waters from the corn leaves drop, drop. The rain descends, the waters from the plants drop. And then the corn grows up 
and the waters of the dark mist drop, drop. I know it's a lot of sign language to do together, but why don't we try it, okay? All right, let's try the first part of the song together. One, two, three. The corn grows up, the waters of the dark clouds drop, drop. The rain descends, the waters from the corn leaves drop, drop. The rain descends, the waters from the plants drop, drop. The corn grows up, the waters of the dark mist drop, drop. Did you guys try it at home? Can you guys raise your hands if you try to do it? Let's see. Oh my God, wonderful. Excellent. All right, let's try the next part of the song together. We're gonna to learn a different sign language. This time we're gonna learn break. So for break, we're gonna take our two hands, put as the two fists, we're gonna put them together and then just break. All right, so every time we say break for this part of the song, we're going to have our fists together and break it. All right, so for example, Shall I break this fruit of the great corn plant? Shall you break it? Shall I break it? Shall I break it? Shall you break it? Shall I, shall you? All right, so remember, we're gonna take our two fists together and then break. So every time we say break, we're gonna do that, okay? Let's try this part of the song together, okay? One, two, three. Shall I break the fruit? Uh, shall I break this fruit of the great corn plant? Shall you break it? Shall I break it? Shall I break it? Shall you break it? Shall I? Shall you? Good job, guys. Raise your hands if you guys did break in sign language with me. Let's see. Oh my God, wonderful. Excellent, excellent. I'm very proud of you guys. All right, let's do the last part of the song together. This time is our last new sign language we're gonna learn and we're going to pick it up, okay? So to pick up in um, sign language, we're gonna have our three fingers straight out and then we're gonna have our index and our thumb open and then we're gonna pick up. And that's how we say pick up in American Sign Language, all right? So every time we say pick up, we're gonna do this. Have our finger, three fingers straight, then have our index finger and our thumb to pick it up. All right, so for example, we're gonna do, shall I pick this fruit of the great squash vine? Shall you pick it up? Shall I pick it up? Shall I pick it up? Shall you pick it up? Shall I, shall you? All right, let's try it, okay? One, two, three. Shall I pick this fruit of the great squash vine? Shall you pick it up? Shall I pick it up? Shall I pick it up? Shall you pick it up? Shall I, shall you? Did you guys do it? Did you guys, did you guys do it with me? Let's see, raise, raise your hands if you guys also did pick up with me. Oh my God, wonderful. You guys are so good at this. Wonderful. All right, why don't we sit down and now we're gonna read our first book together, okay? All right, and let's see. Oh, there we go. All right, so our first book today is called My Heart Fills With Happiness. It's by Monique Gray Smith and it's illustrated by Julie Flett. And so Monique Gray Smith is a First Nations person. And so this is her book from Canada. My heart fills with happiness when I see the face of someone I love. I spell bannock baking in the oven. I sing. My heart fills with happiness when I see the sun dancing on my cheeks. I walk barefoot on the grass. I dance. My heart fills with happiness when I hold the hand of someone I love. I listen to stories. I drum. What fills your heart with happiness? The end. Good job, guys. I guys hope you enjoyed that little story. It is a board book that we do have at the library. So I highly recommend you guys checking it out. All right, so now I have a special tale to tell you guys of the three sisters, but uh, 
I forgot their name. So I'm going to have to have you guys help me remember the three sisters name. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys the story and then you guys have to tell me their name. Okay. Can you guys do that for me? Can you guys raise your hands? Can we help Miss Jody remember their names? Oh, thank you guys. Wonderful. All right. Put your hands down. All right. So let me start the tale for you guys. So long ago, there is an older sister and she wears a pale green shawl and she has silken hair that rustles when the wind blows through it. She grows tall and strong and allows her sister to lean on her for support. She keeps watch over her sisters, looking for danger and warning them. Who is she? Which sister is this one? Can you guys tell me which sister? Is it is it Sister Corn? Oh, I think you guys are right. This is Sister Corn. Thank you. All right, let's learn about the next sister, okay? So the, ne the next sister is dressed in green. At first, when she was young, she could only crawl, just like that. And now she grows and she clings and leans to and leans on Sister Corn for support. And in return, this sister gives Sister Corn the nutrients she needs to grow. Who is she? Which sister is this one? Hmm? It's Sister Bean? Oh, of course. That's right. That is Sister Bean. You guys are so good at this. So we have Sister Corn and we have Sister Bean. All right, let's learn about the last sister, okay? So this is the youngest sister. She wears a bright yellow dress and has a golden crown and sits at the feet of her older sisters. She is much shorter than her sisters and her large leaves help keep the weeds away and the soil moist. The vines are prickly and helps to keep unwanted animals away from her sisters. And which sister is this one? Hmm? This one? This one is Sister Squash. Oh yes, so we have Sister Squash, Sister Bean and Sister Corn. That's right, they are the three sisters. And each one is special and they each have great things to offer on her own and with the others. There is only one way the sisters are all alike. They love each other dearly and together they are strong. Yay, thank you guys so much for helping me. Did you guys enjoy that story of the three sisters? Let's see, raise your hands if you enjoyed it. Ah, excellent. I'm so glad you guys like that story. And thank you so much for helping me. I always forget their names. I'm just, I'm just so forgetful, guys. All right, why don't we stand up for our song, next song? Our next song is called Corn, Beans, and Squash, just like the three sisters, all right? So I want you guys to stand up. And for the first part, we're going to do squash grows on the bottom. So I want you guys to squat down low and hug your knees, okay? So we're gonna do squash grows on the bottom. All right, so we're going to crouch down and hug our knees. Can you guys do that for me? Excellent. All right, then we're gonna stand back up and we're going to do beans grow all around. So take your hands and just spread them out because the beans grow all around, all right? And then corn grows up high. So I want you guys to stand as straight as you can and stretch your arms out and just be nice and long, just like a corn stalk, all right? And then we're gonna do three sisters and a mound. Okay, so we're gonna do the first part of the song. So just to review, we're gonna do squash grows on the bottom. We're gonna crouch and hug our knees. Then we're gonna do beans grow all around. We're gonna stand up and then we're gonna do this motion. Beans grow all around and then corn, Grows up high, we're gonna go as tall as we can on our tippy toes. And then three sisters in a mound. And we're gonna go back into that crouching position. All right, let's try it together, okay? One, two, three. Squash grows on the bottom, beans grow all around. Corn grows up high, three sisters in a mound. Did you guys do it at home? Did you guys do all the motions? Can you see? Let's see. Raise your hands if you guys did it. <gasps> Yay! 
wonderful. All right, let's try to do it one more time, okay? All right, let's try it. One, two, three. Squash grows on the bottom, beans grow all around. Corn grows up high, three sisters in a mound. Good job, guys. Let's do the next part of the song. So next part is squash is heavy. So I want you guys to take your hand, just put them on your hips and go, hmm. Like you're just like as big as you can. And you're gonna do squash is heavy. And then we're gonna stand back up for corn is lean. And we're gonna just go, just be super lean and gentle. Like we're waving in the breeze, okay? So corn is lean. And then beans grow in between, all right? I know it's very silly, but I thought you guys would enjoy that. All right, so we're gonna do squash is heavy. Corn is lean and the beans grow in between. All right, let's try it together, okay? One, two, three. Squash is heavy, corn is lean, and beans grow in between. I know, it's so silly. Why don't we do it one more time, okay? One, two, three. Squash is heavy, corn is lean, and beans grow in between. Did you guys do it at home? Can you guys raise your hands? Let's see. Awesome. Wonderful. Why don't we try to sing the whole song this time, all right? So let's review the whole song, okay? So we're going to start with the beginning where squash grows on the bottom and beans grow all around. And then corn grows up high, three sisters and a mount. And then we're going to do squash is heavy. Corn is lean and beans grow in between. All right, let's try to do the whole song together, okay? One, two, three. Squash grows on the bottom, beans grow all around. Corn grows up high, three sisters in a mound. Squash is heavy, corn is lean, and beans grow in between. Good job, guys. Did you guys enjoy that song? Can you guys raise your hands if you guys enjoyed it? Oh, wonderful. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. All right, why don't we sit down for our next book? And I hope you guys enjoy this one. This is a very cute story. It is called Thanks to the Animals. It's by Alan Sosopetsin, and he's a Passamaquoddy storyteller. And actually, he actually passed away two years ago, but we're going to still treat him as he's alive in our hearts, all right? And this book is illustrated by Rebecca Ray. Winter has arrived. Ju Tum worked for days preparing for the trip north with his family. He took apart their house near the shore and stacked the cedar logs on the big bobsled. Everyone helped. They packed the family sled with his tools and with meats and fish and vegetables harvested during the summer when the days were long. It was loaded to the top with precious food, but Ju Tan made sure there was room for his children to ride in the back. Everyone dressed in warm sealskin clothes for the long trip. It was time to go to their winter home in the deep woods. The horses pulled the sled slowly through the new snow. Zusap was not yet walking, but he was a strong baby born in the spring. He rode on the sled with the other children. As the shadows grew long, the older children slept, but then little Zusap stood up and tumbled off the sled. Oh, how Zusap cried. His voice filled the sky. The animals of the forest were alerted by his crying. First to come were the beaver. They knew they had to keep him warm and dry. So they put their tails together and cradled Zusop. Zusop still cried. So the moose came, then the bear, the caribou and the deer. The fox and the wolf came too. And all the big animals lay together in a circle. Then the other smaller animals came, the raccoons, porcupines, rabbits, weasels, 
and mink. The muskrat and otter and the squirrels and mice came too. They gathered and filled in the cracks between the big animals. At sunset, the owl came. Then the raven, crow, jay, duck, and a goose gathered to perch on top. Even a seagull came. Last came the great bald eagle who spread her wings over all the other birds and animals. Zusa stayed warm. When Jutom arrived at his winter home, he knew something was very wrong. Zusa was missing. Jutom quickly lit a fire for his family and got them settled. Then he turned back to the trail to find his son. He traveled through the woods all night and just at sunrise, he came to a big mound of snow. Resting on top was the great bald eagle. I knew you would come back for Zusa, the eagle said. Jutom looked down and saw his son safely sleeping in a great pile of warm animals. Jutum thanked the animals one by one. Then he took Zusap in his strong arms and went back to the family. When they arrived that evening, there was feasting and dancing. What a celebration. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. It's very sweet and I'm so glad they found Zusap. All right, let's do our last song together before we say goodbye. So I want you guys to stand up. And this time, this song is, we're actually going to learn it in Dakota. So we're not going to sing in English. We're actually going to learn it in Dakota. It might be very hard and that's okay. So if you guys don't know how to say the words with me after I show you, it's okay. You guys can just do the actions with me, okay? All right. So this song is called Mato Sapa, which means black bear in Dakota. So for the first part, we're going to say Mato Sapa. Mato Sapa, which means black bear, black bear. So when you guys do that part, I want you guys to pretend you're a black bear walking through, okay? This is how we're gonna do black bear, all right? And then we're gonna do Cha Opta Mayani, which means you walk through the woods. So you're gonna walk through the woods like you're pushing all those trees and bushes, okay? Remember the first part when you do Mato Sapa, which is black bear, you guys wanna walk and then Cha opta mayani, we're gonna walk through the woods. Okay? And then we're gonna do maka de oyati, which means you live on the earth. So I want you guys to remember how we did the squash in the ground. So we're gonna do that too. So we're gonna crouch down and hug her knees. Okay? For that part. And then the next one is wowa sha ti du he, which means you have strength. So we're gonna be like, Urgh, show me all your strength, guys. I want to see how strong you guys are, okay? And then for the last one is kadoche, kadoche, which means growl. So you guys want you guys to growl the best you can, okay? All right, so just to review, we're going to do black bear, the first line, and we're going to walk through the woods, all right? And then you live on the earth, and we're going to go crouch down and hug our legs. And then we have strength. You have strength. It's going to be super strong for me, okay? And then we're going to growl for the last line, okay? I know it's going to be really hard to sing along with me, so uh, at least just try to do the hand motions with me. And then if you can sing with me, that will be awesome. All right, so let's try to sing it together, okay? One, two, three. Mato sapa, mato sapa. Cha opta mayani, makate oyati, wo washa ti du hey, kado che, kado che. Good job, guys. Did you guys try to sing with me? Raise your hands if you guys try to sing with me. Or if you guys only dance, that's okay too. Oh my God, wonderful. You guys are so good. All right, let's sing the song one more time, okay? One, two, three. Mato sapa, mato sapa. Cha opta mayani, makate oyati. Wo washa ti du hey. 
Kado che, kado che. Good job, guys. I'm so proud of you. I know it's really hard to sing a new song in a language you've never learned, but I'm proud of you guys for trying. All right. All right. Now it is time to say goodbye. I know. So sad, but story time must end. And so this is my goodbye song. It is called This is the Way We Clap Our Hands. It goes to the tune of Here We Go Around the Mulberry Bush. So the first one, we're going to clap our hands. Then we're going to stomp our feet. And then we're going to flap our wings, wiggle our fingers, blow a kiss, and then we're going to wave goodbye in that order, okay? All right, let's sing goodbye to each other. One, two, three. This is the way we clap our hands, clap our hands, clap our hands. This is the way we clap our hands, clap your hands with me. This is the way we stomp our feet, stomp our feet, stomp our feet. This is the way we stomp our feet, stomp your feet with me. This is the way we flop our wings, flop our wings, flop our wings. This is the way we flop our wings, flop your wings with me. This is the way we wiggle our fingers, wiggle our fingers, wiggle our fingers. This is the way we wiggle our fingers, wiggle our fingers with me. This is the way we blow a kiss, blow a kiss, blow a kiss. This is the way we blow a kiss, blow a kiss with me. This is the way we wave goodbye, wave goodbye, wave goodbye. This is the way we wave goodbye, wave goodbye with me. Good job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this story time and hope to see you guys next week for our next story time. All right, you guys can all leave the meeting now and I wish you all a wonderful day.